Much of the research for the four varieties of taro introduced to farmers today began in 2013. Some parent varieties were brought from Samoa and crossbred with PNG taros to see if they could withstand the rigors of PNG. MM time we all secure. Jeffrey Waki, Nari's taro expert, began working on the genetic material soon after he joined the National Agriculture Research Institute. Me play planning one pla taro long place. A long one time all is pla hybrid taro. By looking more leaf long all is an upstrong, all is all big pla. All he can all can come up in leaf when they stop long pla time so seeking or can bring him na kai kai and be big pla. One of his main areas of study was the taro's tolerance to fungal disease. It remains a quality that is very much needed if PNG crops are to survive an outbreak of disease. Over five years, his team tested various types of the crop. He says they also realized the value of inedible native varieties that are disease tolerant. Under uh, all uh, heavy blong sun, some plant blow taro, and we play come up him now, and we can sun up a uh, long time lick lick. Um, now, too, and we can grow long plant your environment where. Nari has also found that the new varieties produce more yield, sometimes two or three times more than local taro. The farmers brought here to see the new varieties have been working with Nari for some time. It is hoped that they will take back the taro seeds and eventually produce enough for commercial sale. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Leigh.